Are people of certain races more likely to have vital medications stopped? This sounds alarming, but let's explore what's happening. My name is Dr. Lauren Mers. I'm a hematology fellow at Mass General Brigham Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Let's explore the background of what might be going on here. Some important medications are linked to hematopoietic toxicities, including decreased neutrophil counts. For example, common terminology criteria of adverse events defines any neutrophil count of less than 1,500 as abnormal. When these are detected, medications are usually modified, as very low neutrophil counts can be associated with a higher risk of infection. Researchers at Vanderbilt University Medical Center noticed that many people who self-identified as Black or African American and had autoimmune disorders were having a critical medication called azathioprine discontinued more often than other groups. When they looked into this, they found that discontinuation of azathioprine was actually associated with a mutation in the ACKR1 gene, which gives rise to the duffinyl phenotype. This mutation was associated with a three times higher risk of azathioprine discontinuation compared to patients without it. Importantly, there was no difference in the rate of discontinuation for black Duffy non-null patients and white patients. However, we do see a much higher rate of discontinuation among black Duffy null patients. The Duffy null phenotype is seen in approximately two-thirds of people who self-identify as Black or African American, but it's very rare to see it in those of European or Asian genetic ancestry. The Duffy null phenotype is associated with lower neutrophil counts, but this is not associated with increased risk for infection. In fact, we see about 25% of patients with the Duffy null phenotype who will have a neutrophil count below 2,000, which is what many of our institutions will set as the lower limit of normal for neutrophils. There is a wide range of health inequities associated with the duffinyl phenotype, such as inappropriate investigations, including bone marrow biopsies, inability to enroll in clinical trials, and lack of access to other critical treatments or medications. I am really excited to be the principal investigator of a collaboration with Ash and the Doris Duke Charitable Foundation that is looking into absolute neutrophil counts by Duffy status and the ways that we can better educate ourselves, our community, and integrate some of this new knowledge into providing optimal care to all the people we serve. Ash is launching this new course on Duffy Null-associated neutrophil counts, how to identify it, and what it means for those who have it.